Hi everybody, my name is David and I like to make videos on the internet. But I've been away for a while doing fun and awesome stuff, but I can promise you that the content is about to start flowing again like an avalanche coming down the mountain. I don't mind the sun sometimes, the images it shows. So let's get into it. So when I first started recording in Cubase, there was a time that I thought that you could only really change the tempo of MIDI, you couldn't change the tempo of audio, but how wrong I was. You can change the tempo of audio with a little something called musical mode, and I'm gonna demonstrate it for you today. So let's pull up Cubase here. I have a groove agent track with a drum beat and an audio track set up. I'm gonna kill my screen recorder mic so you can hear me through Cubase. Check, check. And I'll grab my guitar here and we'll play through and do a little guitar and vocal over this drum beat. This is the demo song. Go ahead and sing it all night long. So now that we have our track recorded, we could run back and listen to it. This is the demo song. Go ahead and sing it all night long. This is the demo song. This is the demo song. And I'll cut it off here at bar 11. Oh, put on snap with J and then we'll cut it off at bar 11. And that sounds all well and good, but I feel like it's a little bit too slow. So what I wanna do is go from 120 to 140, but I don't feel like re-recording it. Well, if I just switch it to 140, I'll put, set the tempo to 140 here, and I hit enter. What you see is that the drums, they stay at the 11th bar, but the audio goes too far. So we can listen to that and you'll hear that it's out of sync. This is the demo. So what are we gonna do? Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're going to use something called musical mode. When you have audio clips uh, and you have your info bar up and you get to your info bar by clicking on this guy up here in the upper right hand corner next to the settings gear, set up window layout and you have the info line checked. Um, you'll have all these options. You can rename what this is. You can uh, change what algorithm you're doing to time stretch, uh, show the root key, fade in, fade out, snaps. There's a lot of stuff you can do, but what I'm concerned with most about is the second to last one in the line, this right here that says musical mode. If I just click it, it'll become musical mode. I can back it up. Uh, and then we can run down here and change the tempo to 140. And if you notice, it time stretches it. So if we listen now, the tempo of the drums will be at 140 and the tempo of the track will be at 140. And it's as easy as that. Now you may be asking, why would you want to use this? Well, it's great for when you're actually composing with loops in the media bay, and you want to throw in something, especially drum loops. So we'll go back to the, from the attribute browser and we'll choose drum and perk. And If we want to use this and we drag it in, it'll time stretch so that it's actually at 140, so we can listen to it. <laughs> so that's an extreme example, but uh, when you're using loops, it will automatically time stretch them for you to the project's uh, tempo. 
if you have musical mode on, and that's super handy. Just realize that it won't actually pitch it to the right key. It doesn't, it's key agnostic, so it works better for drum loops than melodic loops, but you can always figure that out later yourself, and maybe I'll show you how to figure that stuff out in a later video. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like. But the other reason I use this is for exactly scenarios like this. When I have a drum beat, I have a chord progression, I have a top line melody that I want, and yet I don't know exactly how fast I want it. So at 120, I felt like this was too slow. This is the demo song. And at 140, I felt like it was a bit too fast. So I can split the difference at 130 and audition this stuff without actually having to re-record it a million times. The audio will just automatically time stretch and I can get an idea of where I want the tempo of my song to be at. And I remind you that if you want to use this musical mode and keep it in your final projects, you are going to get some time stretching artifacts on the final result. So you may want to just use this to scratch and then retrack things or overdub acoustic and vocals and all that stuff. But it's good to know that it exists and it's good to know that you can audition different tempos without having to re-record audio. And that's all I have to say about that. This has just been a quick tutorial in Cubase showing you all about musical mode, showing you how powerful it is and how much time it can save you. It makes using loops and setting tempos for songs in the early stages very easy. So I recommend you check it out. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll be back with some fresh content, bros. Take it easy. Peace.